Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Mina Earth. In today's video, I'm setting up a brand new planted tank for my aquaponic system, and we're making it M. Buna cichlid friendly. Let's get into it. So we're starting with a blank canvas, an empty tank. First up, I'm throwing down a layer of dirt at the bottom. Now why use dirt in an aquarium? Let me break it down real quick. Dirt is like a multivitamin for your plants, packed with nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, so they grow big and bold. Unlike those quick fix liquid fertilizers, dirt takes its time feeding your plants for the long haul. It's a five-star hotel for beneficial bacteria, breaking down fish waste and keeping the tank's vibes balanced. Next, I'm layering in some sand, but not before giving it a good rinse. Nobody wants a cloudy tank, so I wash off the dust and the debris first. Once the sand's all clean, I cap the dirt with it. Now why sand, especially for Ambuna cichlids? Let me school you. Ambunas love sand. They are the natural diggers of the fish world. They love sifting through the sand like they're on a beach vacay. Sand is soft and gentle on their gills and bellies, and there's no rough gravel messing them up. Sand locks down the dirt so the tank doesn't end up looking like a mudslide. Now let's talk about the greens. I picked some dope stem plants up for this setup. These plants aren't just for looks, they're the tank's cleanup crew. Plants suck up ammonia, nitrates, and phosphates, basically turning fish funk into plant fuel. Through photosynthesis, they pump oxygen into the water so your fish can breathe easy. They give your ambunas a place to chill, hide, and vibe because even fish need to save space.
decided to top it off with black sand. Not because it looks sleek, but that light color sand was just giving dust storm vibes. The black sand keeps the tank looking crisp and makes the plants and fish pop. Time to fill it up. You'll see me using a paper towel while pouring the water. Pro tip, this stops the sand from going wild and keeps the layers smooth. After the filling the tank, I let it marinate for about a week. This gives the tank time to cycle, letting beneficial bacteria move in and set up shop, so it's safe for my embunas. And now, the moment we've been waiting for, the embuna cichlids. These little rock stars come straight out of Lake Malawi in Africa. Bright colors, bold attitudes, they're the life of the tank party. They're also pro diggers, constantly rearranging the tank like underwater interior designers. And guess what? Embunas are perfect for small aquaponic systems. They produce a steady stream of waste, yep, fish poop, which breaks down into nitrates, aka plant food. Your plants get fed, the water stays clean, and the cycle keeps rolling. It's nature doing its thing. And that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging out with me while I set up this Embuna friendly planted tank for my aquaponic system. If you want to see how this tank transforms, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Mina Earth. Let's keep the fish plant hustle going. Catch you in the next one. Bye!